Hey guys, it's Carla. Today I'm going to start with blank chipboard. Uh, there's no outline on this. And um, acrylic paint. And if you, if you want this natural color, but you're not using chipboard, maybe you're using canvas or something, then it's a mixture of, of burnt umber, raw sienna, and white if you want to get this natural color. Um, so right now I'm just laying in some white so that my brighter colors will show up. And, and I want to make sure I keep my brush strokes going in the direction that they need to go. So um, this was just dry brushing, but um, just make sure they're going in the right direction. And then once it's dry, I'm going to put in my color. So I want my sky to be really bright because this is kind of like at sunset. So, um, and after a while we're gonna put the sun in there too. So we need to be, we need it to be really bright. But around the edges, I want it to be a little darker. So I'm putting in that, um, that burnt sienna around, around the edges. I'm using a hog bristle brush for this. It allows me to kind of scrub it on and blend it all together. So it's just, it's a brush I like to use, um, but it's just a flat hog bristle brush. So on my plate, I've got acrylic paint from left to right. I've got black, green, burnt sienna, yellow, white, and orange. So again, I just wanna keep this around the edges and at the top but I want the middle and, and the horizon to stay really bright. Um, what you want to try to avoid uh, at this step is creating like a definite line here. So notice some of my streaks come out farther than others. That makes it look more natural. If they're all just lined up down through there, then it's not gonna look real at all. And then in some places I want it to be really dark. So I picked up, I didn't rinse my brush. I just picked up a little bit of uh, black on the brush. This just look, makes it look more like sunset. Now I've cleaned my brush and I'm gonna go back with my lighter colors now and kind of blend it all together better. Just kind of scrubbing it on. This softens everything. All right, now I want to start on my road. Um, I want it to have a lot of orange in it from the sky, like reflecting on it. But I'm using kind of a dry brush. I, I barely have any paint on my brush. And again, I want to keep my brush strokes going in the right direction. Now with some burnt sienna and a little touch of black uh, and a kind of a dry brush, I'm going to brush on some darker shades in the road. You don't want to have a lot of paint on your brush at this point because it'll go on too, too dark and too bold. I 
I know this is a little bit different painting than I usually do, but um, I, like, I like to put some variety on here. And with Valentine's Day coming up, this is kind of sweet because it has a couple holding hands walking up the road. Um, but you wouldn't have to to paint a couple in there. You could paint like um, a car driving up the road or a, a dog or cat or something like that. So now with a fluffy hog bristle brush and green and black paint, I'm going to go ahead and put in like the base color for the grass beside the road. So I'm just kind of speeding through this. Um, we'll be putting other colors and shades on top of it, highlights. And now um, the trees, the base color for the trees beside the road. So that's just a mixture of black and burnt sienna. So that covers the ground right there, but I want the trees to come on up into the sky. Again, this is a fluffy hog bristle brush, uh, kind of long bristles. And I just want to tap in the shape of the trees. So I want to slow down right here and pay attention to the shape um, so that it looks natural. And I want to leave some of the sky peeking through in places. Again, that'll make it look more natural. Um, but also I want it to be lighter up here, a little bit lighter because the sun is shining through it. So that's why I'm not going with just plain black up here in the sky. I want some of that burnt sienna in it. Now the trees come up pretty high over here, but on this right hand side, they don't. And um, we need them to be lower because we want our telephone poles to to um, show up against the sky, come up higher. So keep these low over here. All right, so now with that same brush, I'm gonna mix up um, a highlight color for the grass. And I just want to lightly uh, tap this on wherever, wherever I want that color. I don't wanna get too carried away with it and cover up everything, but um, I do want some color there. And I always want to keep in mind where my light is coming from. So um, there's certain areas that will pick up more highlight than than others. My my sun is going to be kind of um, up toward the left, so it's going to shine more on the right than on the left because those tall trees over there will block some of it. Now I want some really dark green to put in some shadows in the grass. Mostly along the side of the road, but there'll be some other places too. I 
And I don't want any kind of hard line here, so I'm just kind of softening up this transition. Now I'm putting some kind of dark green into the trees because even though they're in shadow, you would see some of that color. So I don't want to just leave them really dark. I mean, I want them dark, but not like black looking. So just put, putting in a little bit of subtle, subtle highlights on the trees. All right, now I'm using a smaller brush so that I can get a little bit more detail up here and shape the the trees and grass and everything right up there at the at the top where everything's so small. And on this, you might just have to look at your reference photo and see where all the colors are. Now I watered down some of this um, dark shade and with a flat synthetic brush, I'm putting in my telephone poles. So back here, they need to be really close together um, and small. And then as you come forward, they're gonna get farther apart and taller. They're going to come down more and up more. I know it's hard to see exactly what's going on now, but again, you can just look at the reference photo and, and see where they are, and um, you'll know where to put them in. And I'll be highlighting them too, so on the reference photo, they'll show up better than they're showing right now. But I'm just using the, the sharp edge of the brush to just gently tap in these lines. They're just really thin, so I'm barely touching and trying to keep them straight with the edge of the canvas. So I want to come down into the green grass and then up through the trees and up into the sky. So I want to make sure that both the top and the bottom of the poles are showing. And once I get the highlights on there, the whole pole will show. Um, but right in here where it's so dark right now, you're, you're not going to be able to see it very clearly.
So I'm just staying um, parallel with the, the edge of the canvas. And then I want to put the tops on the poles, so the little crossbars at the top. And I'm doing those the same way, just tapping it in with the, the sharp edge of the brush. And I'm also tapping in a little shadow for each pole. So based on where my sun is going to be, I'm going um, out at that angle. And now with a very thin liner brush, I'm going to put in the, the cables on the poles. So I'm going from one pole to the next with each cable. This is watered down. If you don't water it down, you're not going to be able to get that thin line. And now I'm going to, with just yellow, watered down yellow, I'm going to put the highlight on the poles. And the highlight is on the, on the left hand side because that's where the sun light is coming from. Just a very thin line on the left hand side. I'm barely touching the canvas. If I press down too hard, the bristles will spread apart and make a big thick line. I want this to be really thin. All right, now I'm just using the blunt end of a pencil, a pencil that doesn't have an eraser, and to put in my sun. So I picked up some white on it. And I just want to tap in that circle. And then with my flat synthetic brush, I'm just kind of pulling out some of that white on the edges. I want to keep it horizontal. All right. So now with a small round brush, um, I'm gonna mix up a dark color and work on my people. So again, you, you don't have to put people in here, but um, you can put a car or, or animals or whatever, but, um, so I kind of sped through this, but whatever you put in there, make sure that you put a shadow coming out from it. And for the shadow, I just watered down that color um, so that it's not as dark as the, the people. And then I'm just kind of darkening these shadows a little bit and that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and God bless you.